feature race of the day is the Group 3 Gold Cup trial, the Longines Cigaro Stakes. Six runners loaded away and they leave the stalls in a reasonably good line. Enemy was in no hurry in the early strides. Reasonable pace early on with Wordsworth on the outside, seemingly intent on going forward. On the running rail is Nayef Road and splitting the difference is Tash Khan. Princess Zoe's rider Joey Sheridan just checked over the shoulder there and will cross into fourth place on the running rail. Then fifth is Quickthorn and last of all is Enemy. So making their way up towards the winning line and out in the lead is Nayef Road by half a length from in second place Tash Khan. With the bend looming, Ryan Moore decides to slot words within to avoid covering ground on the outside of fellow Irish raider Princess Zoe and we're now in pairs as they make the turn away with Quickthorn and Enemy bringing up the rear. So heading towards the mile and a half point and out in the lead, Nayef Road has the advantage by half a length from Tash Khan in second place as they begin the descent. A couple of lengths to Princess Zoe with half a length to Wordsworth who is currently in fourth place. Quickthorn and Enemy are just about side by side as they're now beginning the run downhill with just less than a mile and a half to travel. Nayef Road out in the lead for Joe Fanning. In second place Tash Khan for Ben Robinson and the two of them show a couple of lengths clear. From Princess Zoe and Joey Sheridan racing on the inside of Wordsworth and Ryan Moore. The last two, Quickthorn for Tom Marquand in the pale blue. And that horse continues to race alongside Enemy in the hands of William Buick. Little change in the formation as the descent is just about behind them and they plateau now at Swinley Bottom before they'll begin the right hand turn and then climb up hill. Out in the lead, Nayef Road with just over nine furlongs to travel. Racing in second place is Tash Khan as they begin the turn. Princess Zoe is in third place. Wordsworth, the flashy white face chestnut with the white socks racing in fourth. Quickthorn on the outside of Enemy as they're now taking the bend in earnest. So we're passing the halfway in the Cigaro, heading towards the seven furlong point and the steady climb uphill. And first to do so is Nayef Road, who continues to have the advantage. Been little change in the order, with Tash Khan in second, a length and a half to Princess Zoe. Half a length to Wordsworth, who now goes through to join Princess Zoe, disputing third. And Enemy continues to race alongside Quickthorn as they continue their climb uphill and they're racing towards the final five furlongs. A little bit more pressure being applied now by Tash Khan, who's just about alongside Nayef Road. They continue to race in pairs with Princess Zoe's companion Wordsworth on the outside and Enemy and Quickthorn have always been the same two dance partners at the back as they make their way down towards the final half mile in the Longines Cigaro Stakes. And out in the lead, it is still Nayef Road, Tash Khan poised. Princess Zoe's rider just looking for an out underneath Wordsworth, who's just trying to hold her in the pocket as they make the turn. Then behind these, Enemy and Quickthorn as the pace begins to increase as they make the turn, two and a half furlongs to travel. Nayef Road trying to lead it out. Princess Zoe going for a gap between that horse and Tash Khan. Wordsworth pretty much flat to the boards. Enemy being smuggled into it under cover and then towards the outside is Quickthorn. A line of four or five. Princess Zoe it is who moves to the lead. Wordsworth is now finding full stride. Enemy amongst horses and Quickthorn but it's the mare. Princess Zoe trying to repel them in the Cigaro. Being pressed by Wordsworth. Enemy up the inside running rail. Princess Zoe hanging tough. Down the outside. Quickthorn with the last challenge. Princess Zoe and Quickthorn. Close between the two in the Cigaro, a bunch finished with Enemy, and right behind them was with Tash Khan dropped out for fifth, and Nayef Road in sixth. A terrific finish to the feature. Well, it's officially a photo finish. Has the wonderful grey Princess Zoe won? The first impression was she had from Quickthorn, who was staying on with every stride. Really unlucky, I think you'd have to say. Enemy, who never got a run when he needed it, but what a finish.